Objective To study about human skeletal system, the vertebral column. The vertebral column, or backbone, lies along the mid-dorsal region of the neck and trunk. It extends from the base of the skull and constitutes the main skeleton of the neck and trunk. It has four curvatures, cervical, thoracic, lumbar and sacral. Cervical curvature is developed when the infant starts raising his head and the lumbar curvature is formed when he starts crawling. The cervical and lumbar curvatures are directed forwards whereas the thoracic and sacral curvatures are directed backwards. These curvatures help in keeping the body straight. They also keep the center of gravity between the heels so that the erect posture is maintained during walking. The length of the vertebral column is about 71 centimeters in males and about 61 centimeters in females. In a human adult, it is made up of 26 serially arranged bones called as the vertebrae. The intervertebral discs made up of fibrous cartilage are present between the successive vertebrae forming the cartilaginous joints. In the human embryo there are 33 vertebrae, some of which fuse during the process of development. Structure of a typical vertebra A typical vertebra is a ring-shaped bone. It has a large disc-like flattened body called as the centrum on the ventral or anterior side and a neural arch on the dorsal or posterior side. In human beings, the centrum is flat at both ends without any concavities. Hence the vertebrae are said to be amphiplatean type. The neural canal or vertebral canal occurs between the centrum and the neural arch. The spinal cord passes through this canal. A neural spine or spinous process is present on the dorsal surface of the neural arch. Transverse processes are present, one on each side of the vertebra. There are two superior articular surfaces or pre zygapophyses and two inferior articular surfaces or post zygapophyses on each vertebra. The post zygapophyses and pre zygapophyses of successive vertebrae articulate by gliding joints. Intervertebral foramina are present between successive vertebrae through which the spinal nerves emerge out. Vertebrarterial canals are present for the passage of the vertebral arteries. Vertebrae are of five types cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and coccygeal. The vertebral formula for human beings is C7, T12, L5, S5, C4. Cervical vertebrae. These are the seven small sized vertebrae of the neck region. The first cervical vertebra is the atlas, which is wing like. It lacks centrum. It has two articular facets for articulation with the occipital condyles of the occipital bone of the skull for nodding movement of the head. It also has an odontoid canal for articulation with the odontoid process of the axis for the sideways movement or rotation of the head. The second cervical vertebra is the axis. 
It has an odontoid process for articulation with the atlas. Thoracic vertebrae. There are 12 thoracic vertebrae in the thoracic region. The centrum of each thoracic vertebrae has a capitular facet on either side for articulation with the capitulum of the rib. Each transverse process of a thoracic vertebra bears a tubercular facet for articulation with the tuberculum of the rib. The thoracic vertebrae, along with the twelve pairs of ribs and the sternum, form the rib cage, which protects the heart and lungs, and also brings about ventilation movements during breathing. Lumbar vertebrae. There are five lumbar vertebrae in the abdominal region. These are the largest, thickest, and strongest vertebrae as they bear part of the weight of the trunk. They also provide surface for attachment of the large muscles of the back. Sacrum. It is a large triangular bone formed by the fusion of five sacral vertebrae. It articulates with the ilia of the pelvic girdle via the iliosacral joints. This articulation transfers the weight of the body to the legs through the pelvic girdle. The sacrum is shorter and wider in females. Coccyx or tailbone. It is a small triangular vestigial bone formed by the fusion of four nodule-like coccygeal vertebrae. It is attached to the base of the sacrum. The vertebral column, or backbone, lies along the mid-dorsal region of the neck and trunk. It extends from the base of the skull and constitutes the main skeleton of the neck and trunk. In a human adult, it is made up of 26 serially arranged bones called as the vertebrae. The intervertebral discs, made up of fibrous cartilage, are present between the successive vertebrae forming the cartilaginous joints. Vertebrae are of five types. Cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and coccygeal.